Hey everyone, I'm Sasha Salinger with PokerNews.com and I'm here with your 888 Poker update on all of your latest bracelet winners. First up, Jeff Lissandro couldn't take down his seventh WSOP bracelet. He lost heads up to Steve Albini in the 1500 seven card stud event. Steve took home $105,000. Not so bad for a big time record producer. Steve Albini is actually one of the producers behind Nirvana's albums. Pretty cool tidbit there. He also defeated Chris Ferguson in fourth place of that same event. Next up, Ryan Bambrick took home his first bracelet in the 1500 PLO event for $217,123. Our third bracelet winner of the weekend was Han Tran, who took home his first bracelet in the $1,500 limit deuce to seven low ball triple draw event. He came into the final table as chip leader and managed to come out a winner despite the notables at his table, three-time bracelet winner Brian Hastings and Jared Blesnick. Our fourth bracelet winner is Gal Yafrak, who took home over $461 thousand dollars for taking down the 3k6 max event the heads up play was against james mackey and lasted only seven hands before gal was able to take home his first bracelet now the 10k horse event was supposed to finish in three days but day three lasted so long that once play got to heads up with david bakes baker the younger david baker and john hennigan they agreed to finish their heads up play on day four, and ultimately, Hennigan took down his fifth WSOP bracelet and over $414,000. Benjamin Dobson is the winner of the 1500 seven card stud high low eight or better event for over $173,000. He beat out two time bracelet winner Jesse Martin, who came in third in that event. And our biggest winner of the weekend was Michael Adama, who took down the $2,620 buy in event marathon event. He takes home his first bracelet and $653,581. Now we lost some notables early on. Kate Hall was out in ninth place, Martin Jacobson in fifth, Taylor Parr in fourth, and it was actually Bart Leibart who was a massive chip leader with four people left. Ultimately he got third and it was Michael Adama who took down that huge cash prize. Congrats to you and your first bracelet. Now, we still have a ton more bracelet events coming up. Behind me, you can see a big rail forming as we play down close to a winner in the 50K Poker Players Championship event. We still have huge notables, Daniel Negranu, Phil Ivey, Michael Mizrahi, Dan Smith. You know of a poker player, they're probably in this event. We'll see who actually takes it down. It would be really interesting to see Phil Ivey win a, his first bracelet in four years. Stay tuned to pokernews.com. We'll have all the updates for you.